Lekker indeed. Right now is Lekker the Kitchen with Gabriela San Giorgio. She is here. Yes, we're sticking to those healthy New Year's resolutions. You know, we had our fitness now. Right now, um, what you put into your mouth. I mean, this is very, yes. very important. You've got to be mindful about what you're eating throughout the course of this year if you really want to have a good and positive yes. uh, year with regards to health and fitness. So, homemade oat crackers mm. with hummus. Delicious. That is amazing. That is what you're doing. Yes. How are you doing, Gabby? Good and you. Awesome. Not too bad. So, this is a great lunchbox filler. Amazing. Uh, great yes. snack as well. Healthy. The protein, great stuff. It's delicious, high in fiber. We like it, we yes, like so it. Okay, delicious. let's go for it. So using, of course, our jungle oats, which is low GI, sustained energy. Exactly. And like you said, high in fiber as well. Great snack. It's delicious. So what we're doing here, <laughs> we're actually very excited, obviously, to I have these. <laughs> so we've got our egg whites here. And all I'm putting is just a little bit of brown sugar. Okay. Just because seeds have quite a bit of a, like a, a very nutty taste. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say seedy taste. You like your, yeah, obviously. Seedy taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just the sugar just kind of, just kind of doesn't make it so seedy. Seedy. Yeah. Got it. Got it. <laughs> It. Okay. And so we've got a bit of coat and oil here as our binding agent. Okay. It's also really nice about this recipe, there's no eggs in it. So if you have a bit of an egg intolerance, this is great. Yes. Don't have your eggs in it. And all we're going to simply do is add our seeds. So it's up to you what seeds that you like to use at home, but we've got some sesame seeds here, uh, some linseeds seeds and chia seeds, which are also okay. great for fiber and also naturally high in protein. That's it, that's it. Get your plant, really plant protein in there. Let me clear this up for you quickly. Oh, thank you. Such a pleasure. Right. And we've got our flour in there. And then all we do is have about a cup of our jungle oats. So nice. about a cup in here, yeah. Which is also my go-to breakfast. Oh, always. Yep. Always. I mean, there's at least like two of those in my cupboard <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's great. It really is great. Okay, so, so there we have it. Yes. So all we've done, we've mixed it up here. And all that we're going to simply do is... You don't want it to be too thick, otherwise it comes like very stodgy. Yeah. So all we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to just put this, we'll use one of these spatulas, put it on a tray and just smear it out as kind of flat as possible. Not like flat. Okay. Not like... <laughs> like. Give it like a three millimeter so to five millimeter. Basically flatten yeah. it. Yes. Okay. Because while you're doing that, I'm going to do the hummus. Okay, you do the hummus. Which is super easy. Uh, so all we've got is some chickpeas. Get the tin chickpeas and just drain them. And uh, we've got some tahini here, which is really yum to make, to, it really pairs very well with chickpeas. Okay. To make a hummus tahini kind of vibe. And we've got some cumin. Got a whole clove of garlic, and obviously it's in your food processor, so you can just simply pop it in. Got a nice squeeze of lemon juice. Right. And if you really like a lemony taste, you can also add the zest. And then we have got some olive oil. Olive oil is best. So we're okay. going to just put enough here just to kind of coat the chickpeas. It's, it's awesome to be able to make your own hummus. I mean, oh, it's, no. it's, it's delicious, so easy. it's healthy. Yeah. And all we're going to do, sorry about the noise, is just put it up. <laughs> Go for yeah. it. <laughs> the keyword is jungle. Isn't that to 3378 if you want to get your hands on this healthy snacking idea? I think it's great. All right, give that a whiz. Yeah, so I mean, it's up to you if you want it smooth or you can have it chunky, which is also quite nice. Okay. If you find, like right now, I'm cooking a little bit too chunky, so I just want to add a little bit more olive oil. Okay. But it's also nice if you like, like a paste, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is looking really yum. So just add a dash more olive oil, and then this will be good and to go. there we have it. So, yes. so, of course, this will make the perfect combination. I mean, the hummus with, yes. with your Especially homemade oat crackers. Yeah. yeah. And the seeds in it, exactly. So, like I mentioned, the keyword is jungle. As is that to 33728. You can also check it out on our website a little bit later on. That's expressoshow.com. We are taking okay. care of your health going into 2018. This is delicious. How do you like my... Um, I'm so is, is that good? Is that, is that's that... like amazing. <laughs> that's the newest I've ever seen it. <laughs> okay, awesome. So that goes into the oven then? That goes into the oven. Okay. And the nice thing about this now is you can just you can break wedges, you can slice it up. So I'm going to put some beautiful hummus on top plate. All right. So we're going to put it right over here. So we have a big nice dollop of hummus, probably about like a tablespoon to two tablespoons for a serving. So if you want to put it in the kids' lunch boxes. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, if you finish off, get that hummus yes. on the plate. Here's a quick look at those steps once again. To make the oat crackers with hummus, you'll need jungle oats, salt, parsley, olive oil, tahini, ground cumin, lemon, a garlic clove, chickpeas, linseeds, sesame seeds, chia seeds, rice flour, melted coconut oil, brown sugar and egg whites. For the crackers, add olive oil and brown sugar together and whisk. Add egg whites and whisk together until sugar dissolves. Add the flour, jungle oats, chia seeds, sesame seeds and lid seeds and mix well. Press into a baking sheet and bake for 15 to 20 minutes. For the hummus, add chickpeas, lemon juice, tahini, 
olive oil, ground cumin, chopped parsley, chopped garlic and salt to a blender. Blend until smooth and pour into a bowl. Leave the crackers to cool. Break them into pieces. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. You can also SMS the keyword jungle to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. All you need to do is click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost one round 50, no free SMSs and T's and C's apply. And there we have it, the keyword once again, jungle. To SMS that to 33728. We'll send you a list of ingredients and a link to the recipe. But literally just kind of broke off a couple of pieces and you serve it like Delicious. that. Delicious. So, so perfect for a lunchbox snack at work. You know, pack your hummus. If you don't have hummus, you don't have to make it. You can buy it as you well. You can also buy it. Yes, But, but I mean, the process of making this actual oat crunchy it was super easy. I mean, we just showed I mean, you literally done yeah. this in, in five minutes. I mean, it's so Absolutely. quick and easy. So. Awesome. Gabby, thank you very, very much. It's taking care of your health at Keyword Once Again Jungle 233728. It's kids that Africans growing longer and stronger for almost 100 years.